Wow, that's a huge tree. Yeah. And it's just lit up. Got him right below us. Here's one. Oh, got something big. I got something big. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of In-Depth Angley. I'm out here today on Lake of the Ozarks. This is uh, my new friend Thomas. That Captain I Tom. Yeah, I just met. Um, we're heading out of uh, PB2 today on the lake. Gonna go and try to catch some crappie and bass and whatever else is biting. So, Whatever else is biting or not biting. We've got that wind out of the east fish bite lease day. I've yeah. been, I've been uh, talking or overhearing some of the guys pulling out of the ramp here. And some of those bass fishermen saying they've had some kind of tough days. Yeah, it? it's it's been a it's been a tougher bite. We're kind of fishing on the more of the middle to lower end of the lake here today. Uh, so the water temperature is not quite as warm as it has been up on the upper ends of the lake. So uh, hopefully we can get out there and catch some fish. But uh, might be in for a little bit of a tough bite today. We'll see what happens. Though. Try to figure out if we're on main lake stuff or further back in the creek channels right now. Try a little, try a spot on both of them, and fish got to be somewhere. So, how big of a blob are they? Are there a couple. It the, it look really looks like shad almost. It looks like small fish, but they're out there at 20 foot. So, a little bit of a brush pile, you think? Yeah. And then a, a but a school of smaller fish on it. Yeah, fish, crappie. They're in there. So, right. just pulled out the live scope and <laughs> angled over here and. As soon as he cast over there, first cast with the crappie jig. Uh, nice. Come we're, a ten. we're on it. So. Probably ten. Yeah. Nice crappie. Yeah, right at ten. I don't feel like cleaning any fish today. Do you I, want them? I'm, I'm okay without. So, yeah. 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 We'll let her go. So, really, the fish are probably right in here somewhere. Yep. Fish. Right on them again. Nice. At least found some crappie. Yeah. And that's probably about eight and a half, nine inch or so. It's probably closer to the borderline. Yeah. There's one chasing my jig. You see it? Yeah. Oh, come on, get it. Oh, right on it. I went away from it. There's a school out here chasing it. That was crazy. I, I, I probably pulled like six fish that followed that thing in and I didn't even feel them bite. Here's one. Nice crappie. Skunks out of the boat for me, so we're on the board. Oh wow! Look, look how uh, thick this thing is. Uh huh. Yeah. It's all full of food and eggs. It's up on pre-spawn. They're getting ready to move up. They're staging out here on a point. Yeah. So yeah, the wind is blowing across this point. Tilt it more towards shore there. That's that's where it's at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. There he is. Yeah, we found him good now. Sweet. It's another uh, big keeper size. Mm. Wow. So about nine, ten inches. Wow, that's a huge tree. And it's just lit up. Got him right below us. Right below us, there's one. Yep, that's one. Awesome. And pre spawn too, staging up with a little bit of a build right there on the belly. It's not quite as far along as what I've been getting up on the Niangua. It's a little bit further ahead, but they're still maybe about a week behind over here. From where those were. We're drifting right over the top of them. I can't believe that they're not hitting this. They follow it. <laughs> uh -huh. They follow it for like 20 feet and then they're just like, ah, I don't want it. That's like uh, 
it's kind of like when uh, you know th that's what I always liked about trout fishing when you can see them hit it or and follow it and such there he is hey. nice. finally I found the, the the ultimate color what's that it's chartreuse, chartreuse and, blue. and blue there you go with a lot of sparklies in it. Yeah. yeah nice fish. Out of ten. Yeah, nice fish. Yeah, I'm, that's that's what I was looking at. Is I was getting those to chase. They're kind of suspended out in nothing. Uh -huh. They're not in the brush. They're kind of out of it, hanging out. I can't wait for that water to heat up a little bit more. Yeah, see, that's already climbing. It's 47 now. See, it's just uh -huh. going up. Yeah. That's what you want. Wanting, I'd been wanting to do it for years and it's, it's and we it's it's like a two night overnight and that's oh. what we planned on she was there she bumped me <laughs> shallow we're almost four yeah we're almost at 49 now that's three degree yeah. jump that's exactly what you want i mean this is exactly what you want mm -hmm. i wonder if they're all crappie There's one. Yep, they are what I think they are. <laughs> they are that. These guys are almost, what's the depth here? Like five feet? Yeah. Eight. Eight? Yeah. But they're right in the back of a pocket. It's like the blue and white. There he is. Back to back. You hunt up? No, I, I got out. Okay. That one's definitely a male. She's pretty. He's pretty skinny. But another nice little crappie. Back to back cast might be on something. You know, you don't get. Oh, there's a lot of oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there's a crappie on that. Oh, that's something big. I got something big. Oh, broke me off. Oh. oh man, that was a bass. That was a bass. Shoot. I saw him. I don't know how well the camera picked that up, but I saw the flash of it and it was <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a bass somewhere swimming around with a blue and white crappie jig in his mouth. There's one, right on that lay down. Crappie. Yeah. He's up pretty shallow. That one's got a skinny belly, must be a male. See you, buddy. All right, guys, that's gonna do us up here for this episode um if you guys enjoyed this consider subscribing to the channel if you've not yet done so leave me a thumbs up down below so i know that you guys enjoyed this stuff this is tom he's gonna be out guiding captain uh, tom yeah look me up captain tom or cap tom charters.com yeah. yeah so and uh so oh there i had a little nibble yeah um yeah so we enjoy the your first experience with the live scope yeah live, live scope was uh pretty cool uh <laughs> you guys see it up there and everything we're still marking some fish on it and everything but um yeah it's definitely a different style of fishing i've not done before so if you guys want to see uh more live scope stuff like that too uh let me know about it and uh we'll try to make some some more fishing to convince your wife to, so you can get one yeah I, I need to convince uh cassie so i get a, get a live scope so <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this leave me a thumbs up down below comment if you want to see some more live scope fishing and subscribe to the channel if you've not yet done so until then explore deeper there's more out there and tight lines we'll catch you next time